1 UPSC civil services exams. If there is one exam in India which literally requires you to know everything under the sun, it has to be the civil services exam held by the Union Public Service Commission. You would be expected to start off by clearing a civil services aptitude test, SCAT, followed by the main test, further followed by a personal interview. Oh by the way, you may have to wait for a year from the date of giving your CSAT to be called for a personal interview if you clear round 1, that is. 2 IITZ. The Indian Institute of Technology Joint Entrance Examination IITZ, is one of the toughest engineering entrance exams in the world. It has a success rate of around 1 in 45. More than 17 to 20 engineering institutes including the IITs use the Z to eliminate and select students. Successful candidates can choose to study engineering, architecture, design, technology, and sciences in colleges that accept a Z score. This exam attracts the creme de la creme of students and clearing it is supposed to be the height of achievement of an Indian student. 3 Gate, Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering if you want to get into IIT or IIS, Bangalore you will need to pass the gate. This exam serves as the eligibility criteria for getting into various ME and M tech programs offered by IITs. Interestingly, gate scores are also looked up when you want to get selected for PSU companies which operate under the Indian government. 4CAT Also called the Common Entrance Test, the CAT exams are meant for getting an entry into premier management and business schools like the IIMs. It tests students in areas of interpretation, logical reasoning, and verbal ability. Apart from the IIMs, the scores of the CAT are also accepted by many other colleges offering MBAs. Did you know, more than 2 lakh students give the CAT each year and only 1,500 manage to get the percentile required for the IIMs. 5 AIMS Entrance Exams It is every single medical student's wish to clear this exam so that he or she doesn't have to end up paying lakhs of rupees for an MBBS degree to self-financed colleges located in remote areas of the country. An autonomous body, AIMS conducts its own Pan-India Entrance Exam, the results of which are also accepted by many other medical colleges. Imagine how tough the exam would be, if students from all over India are fighting for a limited number of seats. 6. National Institute of Design Also called the Design Aptitude Test, this entrance exam can give weak knees to the best of creative design students. If you think you can answer questions like draw the world from an ant's perspective, then may want to think of applying for this test held at major cities of India. Through this tough entrance exam, the NID Admission Committee aims to test the perception, attitude, aptitude, achievement, and motivation of a candidate. In the second round, shortlisted students are grilled with personal interviews and studio tests. 7. NEET, National Eligibility Cum Entrance Test NEETs are conducted by Central Board of Secondary Education CBSE Board for getting admissions to undergraduate and postgraduate medical and dental courses across India. While at not the same level as AIIM's entrance, NEET is also regarded as one of the toughest entrance tests in India. 8 UGC NET, University Grants Commission National Eligibility Test National Eligibility Test, commonly known as NET is conducted the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. The test is funded by Central Government's HRD department. This test is doorway to becoming a research fellow or a lecturer. The good thing is you can still pursue your higher studies and at the same time do some great scientific research. 9 CLAT, Common Law Admission Test As the name suggests, the CLAT or the Common Law Admission Tests are done to get admissions for undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate degree programs like LLB and LLM. The irony of the situation is that these exams just keep getting tougher and tougher every year. And the highest percentiles secured keep going up and up and up. Looks like the sky is the limit for these tough entrance exams, literally. 10 NDA The National Defense Academy NDA, is the Joint Services Institute of the Indian Armed Forces 
where cadets of the three administrations, the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force prepare together before they go ahead to pre-charging preparing in their individual administration foundations. It is the first tri-administration institute on the planet. Please subscribe for more interesting videos about India.